oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's Santa Claus. I'm dreaming. He's sliding down my chimney with a big red cock. When he comes to stand in front of my bed, I see how fine and strong that big red cock is. And I want him to put it in the silky stocking I have between my legs. When I tell him I want his cock in my silky stocking, he asks me a question. Have you uh, been a good girl? Asks Santa. I have to say, no. I have not been a good girl at all. I confess I always eat the icing off the cake. I'll tell any fib to get a date. I steal lingerie from department stores. I goose strange men and women when I find myself pressed against them during rush hour on the subway. They look around and never realize it's me. You have been a very bad girl indeed, Santa says. You need a thorough spanking before Santa can fill your stocking. He tells me to throw off the covers. I obey Santa. I'm not wearing anything except my panties. Santa looks me up and down. You are prettier than a plum pudding, he says. Then Santa tells me to slip off my panties, my new white silk panties, with cute pink pussycats printed on them. I stole them from Saks Fifth Avenue last week by stuffing them inside my jeans pocket as if they were a hanky. When I slip them off, Santa takes the purloin panties from me and sniffs the crotch. You certainly have been a naughty, naughty girl, he says, and then he sniffs my panties some more. His red cock grows even bigger. As it gets bigger, it swells, it changes shapes. Now it looks like a spatula. Santa tells me to get on all fours. Now, lift up your honey bunny bun. Higher, higher, Santa says. Oh, that's right, says Santa. Now you're acting like a good girl should. He chuckles approvingly. Ho, ho, ho! He begins to spank me with his paddle cock, with his spatula cock. He throttles my ass again and deliciously again with his sturdy tool. At first he spanks with a loving touch, but then Santa starts to spank me harder. Smack, smack, smack. He gets into it. He's an expert. I never thought Santa would have a thing for spanking. <laughs> stop, stop, no, 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 I squeal. My whole ass is tingling, stinging, but I like it. How I like it. The more it stings, the more I like it. I look behind me, my butt is a deep, bright red strawberry color almost the same color as Santa's thick scarlet cock. Enough, Santa. Enough, Santa. Please, please stop. I cry, but I don't mean it. It feels like my ass is on fire. The, but the fire is not burning me, just making the love juices inside me simmer to a fine boil. I relax and let the delicious heat wash through my cunny. It spreads up to my tits and down to my toes. Now I'm purring like a kitten being stroked. Maybe Santa liked it better when I was squealing, stop and no, because he suddenly ceases spanking me. He must know how much I want more and more by the way I keep purring and pushing my throbbing bum up to him in an invitation. Maybe Santa Maybe Santa wants to show me who is boss, or maybe Santa is just a tease. That's enough, he says. You can roll over on your back now. Gingerly, I flip over on my back. I'm surprised how soothing and cool the sheets feel against my tender rump. 
I look up at Santa. His eyes are twinkling and his face is very rosy as if he has been shoveling snow. His cock is pointing right at me. It doesn't look like a spatula anymore, but it's still very big. I hope you learned your lesson and next year you'll try to behave, he says. I grin at Santa. No way, I tell him. And, and he winks at me. Ho, 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 he bellows. You are a very smart girl indeed. Oh, Santa, thank you, I say. Then I tell him that it was the very best spanking I've ever had. That's good, said Santa, because now I'm going to give you something you're going to really enjoy. Something you can't laugh about. Soon you will be roaring with glee. <laughs> Santa puts his chubby hand between my legs and he sticks a finger right in my slit. I'm all juicy and slippery and his darting digit feels so nice dancing up in me. He moves in and out, out and in. When he pulls it out all the way, it's covered with a sticky syrup between my, from between my legs. Santa puts the sticky finger in his mouth. He sucks it for a while. Delicious, he says. This tastes better than a peppermint candy cane. Now, Santa has a great big candy cane for you. He puts his hands out and spreads my legs. Then he kneels over me and guides his cock into the sticky place between my legs. It feels so sweet. My insides begin to melt with pleasure, but then there is an interruption an abrupt pounding on the ceiling above. A stamp, stamp, stamping sound. Santa pauses and looks up. He is half inside me, half out. It's my reindeer, he says. <laughs> Be patient, he calls up, his voice ringing out like a chime. Be patient, dancer, dasher, dancer, Donner and Blixen. Santa's coming. <laughs> From above, we hear a few faint neighs and the sound of the sleigh bells. Santa starts to move in and out faster and faster. The sweet feeling between my legs grows more intense and I begin to calm. Suddenly, Santa bursts out into song. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun, he carols loudly. It is to ride a one-horse open sleigh. I'm going to leave you right there.